hello there friends welcome back to my channel a healthier Ashley um, today I'm gonna do another what I eat in the day with all new items so that's exciting um, if you are new to my channel welcome um, I am Ashley with a healthier Ashley of course and I've lost so far almost almost 50 pounds on keto and I started this channel as a way to just showcase my journey uh, to show other people with you know a busy life kids a family that keto isn't hard it is doable um, and just to show some of the things that I make that has allowed me to be successful during this journey so if you're new please subscribe to my channel and continue to follow the journey with me and my family so it's currently 1250 and I'm going to I have not ate yet today so 1250 <laughs> so um, as you guys know I fast and I typically eat between 12 and 6 um, but yeah part of knowing that you're in ketosis is when you're not hungry and so I have not ate but I'm gonna eat um, so before I start preparing breakfast, I'm going to grind some coffee and get my coffee on because I really, really want some coffee. So I'll be back, guys. So while I am grinding up my coffee, I just grabbed me a handful of pecans. Um, I buy these from Costco in, in a two pound bag and then I roast them in the oven on 400, no, on 300 degrees with butter and uh, pink Himalayan salt and they come out so good. There's like your own homemade roasted Gone. So yeah, I just want to show you guys this real quick. All right. So in case you're interested, I am currently at one o'clock. All that good old water. All right. So for breakfast, I'm going to try out these egg wraps with cauliflower. Uh, I got these from Costco. And, you know, it's weird because it's an egg wrap, which is great, but I'm going to stuff this with eggs. <laughs> So I'm still going to scramble two eggs. Um, I do have a sausage uh, patty cooking. And I'm just going to add my uh, jalapeno, um, you know, dip as usual in my eggs. And then I'm just going to put a few jalapenos. But, um, yeah, so this is, you know, I've never had it before. But um, here are the macros for it. And they're not bad. I mean, it has like, what, one uh, gram of fat three grams of protein, zero carbs, um, made with just, you know, cage-free egg white, cage-free egg, cauliflower powder, olive oil, sea salt, xanthan gum spices. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, it says that I can just put it in the microwave. It says that you can even eat it straight out of the refrigerator, but I'm going to put it in a pan, um, and just treat it like a tortilla. So, yeah. I'm going to try this out, guys, and we're going to see how this comes out. I'm going to let you guys know, like, as I'm tasting it, how this tastes to me. So, okay, friends. So, I decided to give the, I don't know what to call it, like the Instagram um, fold in your taco thing a try. <laughs> and so, I put my sausage down on this side or on this part. And then I scrambled my eggs, but if I would have thought about it early, I would have like pan fried them, but I think it's all good. So I'm just gonna put that there. And I already have my, I already have some butter melting in the pan. So I think that's good. And then I'm gonna use a slice of cheese and put that right here. And I think it's supposed to be something else right here. I'm just put my jalapenos. I don't know what else to put there, but I think this is good. And normally you'll see people using this, doing this on a tortilla, but I'm gonna try it. On here, so. Let's see. That. And then there we go. Nice. Here we go. 
And then now, I'm gonna go ahead and get it on the pan. All right. And just kind of let everything toast up, I guess. Yeah. I have it on medium heat. So I'm gonna just let this toast up and then we'll see how that comes out. All right, so I finished it. This is how it came out. Nice and toasted. Now, let me just say, these did not smell good coming out of the pack. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's give this a taste test. I just really hope it tastes good, all that hard work. Oh yeah. It just tastes like an egg. It's not bad. Much better than using a low carb tortilla with all the carbs, you know? Mm. Not bad at all. And I have a little salsa that I'm dipping it in. All right, so let's make some coffee so we can sit down and enjoy breakfast or lunch because it's <laughs> it's 124. all right so it's coffee time and i've already added in um a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream uh, my keto collagen and a squirt of liquid stevia and so um lately i've been having like two cups of coffee a day <laughs> but we'll see how uh, you know i decide a little more um, and then I just use my frother here to, you know, mix it all up real good. And this just makes for an amazing cup of coffee. I haven't been drinking my coffee as sweet lately. Remember guys, this month I said I was just going to try to give my, um, you know, my, the Jordan skinny syrup a break and the, um, the Tarani syrups a break. So I have not been using those. I've just been using a squirt of liquid stevia, heavy whipping cream, and the keto collagen. All right, friends. So we are back. I've had my breakfast and it was so good. It was really good. I was surprised. I was a little bit nervous. I've seen that wrap before at Costco and I wasn't sure how, you know, how it would taste. So, but this time I said, you know what, let me just go ahead and pick it up. And I'm so glad that I did because that was good. That was really good. So I just want to give you guys a breakdown of my macros for the day. Here they are. Okay. So I've used up one, one net carb, 46 grams of fat, 35 grams of protein, and 560 calories. And that includes my coffee. So... So yeah, that's how we are looking for today. And the collagen, it has calories in it. Uh, somebody did ask me that. Um, and so I just want to tell you guys really quick. So I haven't been weighing in um, every week like I was doing, like the weekly check-ins, because I said I was trying to do like a clean January where, you know, I'm restarting, starting back to the basics, blah, blah, blah. You guys know that my first... My first goal in this weight loss journey was to lose 50 pounds. And I just want to say that as of Friday at the gym, I was down a total of, um, I've lost a total of 48 pounds. 48. <laughs> so remember guys, I started at what? 300. Okay. I am currently two. 52 and that was last friday so i am super proud of myself i must say um i haven't been in a 250 since i had my first kid which was 11 years ago so very excited about it very happy um and i plan to do like a you know at the end of january a video just to say exactly how much i've lost in total um, but, but yeah, it's, 
that is so motivating. That is what keeps me going, keeps me pushing, keeps me, you know, and honestly, I don't, I'm not gonna say I don't need the motivation, probably to go work out, but you know, I, I love this lifestyle. I don't, there's, I don't miss anything. I mean, even the ice cream is good, which I bought me another one, y'all. But, um, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's truly, it, it's been a journey. It's, it's been a lot to learn, but it is so, the food is good. The food is amazing. Once you learn what to eat, what works for your body, and you, you know, just start making things, just, just do it. And you start noticing that scale moving. I'm telling you, like, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's crazy because I just never imagined losing this much weight. And, um, it, it's been really good. So, you know, if, if there's anybody out there who's watching and, you know, you're thinking about doing it and you're wondering, should I do it? Um, is it hard or anything like that? You can do it. Trust me, because I was one of those people who, her look, I wasn't paying attention. I was just eating whatever I felt like eating. And, you know, but this has been life changing. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to say to stop and just let you guys know that um, it, it's doable. You just find what works for you. There's no one person fits all for this lifestyle. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, you know, what, what works for you. You know, I know a lot of people who's on keto, they don't like eggs. They don't like avocados. That's that's fine. Um, there's some people who don't even like plain water. They drink all the flavored water they can drink, and that's fine. You know, there's some people who don't work out. That's their prerogative. Um, you know, but don't think that this cannot work for you. It is working for me, and that's why I made this channel, because I want to motivate anybody out there who feels like they want to lose weight they need to lose weight guys i couldn't believe i was 300 pounds i never could believe it and um to see myself down almost 50 pounds is is it, it definitely lets me know that this isn't you know this isn't a fad this isn't just something that um you know it's not temporary like this really works and it works well and if you Put your mind to it and really do it and give it time for the cravings to go away and, you know, for your body to adjust. It works. It works, guys. So I just wanted to say that. Um, I hope I'm motivating somebody out there. But yeah, so I'm going to slowly drink this coffee. OK, <laughs> and um, I do have errands to run per usual. And then we are going to get started on dinner. So I'll see you guys soon enough. Okay, friends, so we are going to go ahead and get started with dinner. I am making a Philly cheesesteak casserole that I found on Pinterest. So um, the recipe calls for provolone cheese, Worcestershire sauce, two eggs, some Parmesan cheese shredded, uh, garlic, which I'm just going to use this already chopped up garlic, two ounces of cream cheese, heavy whipping cream, a cup of onions, a cup of mushrooms, and a cup of bell peppers that I've already chopped up. And then I just have this steak here that I'm going to um, probably use like a, just a pound and a half of that. And so, yeah, I'm going to just kind of start working everything together. The first thing that I have to do is cook the steak on both sides. And I'll just show you guys everything that, you know, step by step. All right, guys. So this is about a pound and a half of the steak meat that I just chopped up. And um, I actually made it very thin. You can see about that thin. And so I'm just gonna start cooking this on medium to high heat um, for just about two to three minutes until it's um, just about cooked through. And once this is completed, I will add uh, the bell peppers and the mushrooms and the onions. Um, and then I'll show you guys what that looks like whenever I'm done. Okay, so I've added the vegetables in um, and I'm just gonna cook this down until the meat is no longer pink and the vegetables, you know, are soft. Um, and then I'll drain the liquid and then we'll move on to the next step. Um, I forgot to tell you guys that I did, I made my own steak seasoning because um, I didn't have any steak seasoning. And that's basically paprika, black pepper, onion salt, um, garlic powder, oh, smoked paprika, black 
pepper, salt, uh, some thyme, and yeah, that's it. So that's how I made the seasoning. I seasoned the meat, and I'm just gonna let this cook down. Okay, friends. So I had added in uh, two, uh, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and now this is the cream cheese, and I'm just gonna start to incorporate this into the mixture now that the um, you know the peppers and onions are getting soft. So I'm just gonna mix this in. And I will let you see how that looks in a little bit. Let's just get this all nice and mixed in there, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna make the cheese sauce and it's gonna be half of a cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna pour in two eggs. And the shredded Parmesan cheese. About a half a cup. Okay, so once you have all of that mixed very well, we're gonna get a baking dish and put all this in. And if I didn't say earlier, go ahead and have your oven preheated to 350 degrees. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the mixture uh, in the pan. And I'm just gonna add in my steak and vegetables here. And I didn't let this simmer or anything. I just, I just took it off the heat once the cream cheese was melted and Put it to the side. Okay, we're gonna just lay that in there nice and flat and even. Okay. All right. And then we're gonna get our cheese mixture that we just made with the egg and the Parmesan cheese. And we're gonna mix that up. Gonna just lay that right on top. I'm just gonna give it a quick mix again to lift that cheese up. Okay. I'm just gonna mix that in really well or pour that right on top, that's what I meant to say. And this pan is an 18 by nine, uh, yeah, 18 by nine, eight and a half by 11, I meant. But I'm sure a sh more shallow dish would work if you know that's what you choose. But this is just what I'm using today, okay? And then we're just gonna grab our provolone cheese and I'm just gonna do them like just like that and just lay them right on top okay so I'm gonna go ahead and bake this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes okay guys so after 20 minutes in the oven this is what we are left with mm, that looks really really good I'm gonna let this cool completely before I serve it and in the meantime, I'm going to prep a salad that I will have to go with this. Okay, friends, so I have cut the um, the casserole and I tasted just a little bit of it and it's really good. And I made a salad 
on the side and I'm out of cucumbers but I did put um, some blue cheese crumbles pepper and blue cheese salad dressing on top I'm just gonna have this and I might eat a little bit of my ice cream we'll see here's my water but I've had a lot of bottles of water today but I do plan on finishing this by nine o'clock tonight so we'll see